When there was concern this fall that a fire at the Hampton Casino might spread, departments from all over responded. Mutual aid considered essential for large-scale emergencies. But communities like Exeter are depending more and more on other towns on a regular basis. The reason? Since 2007, we have tracked our numbers pretty closely and they've gone just over 1,000 calls more per year since that time. And we've not added any more staffing. Most of that increase, ambulance calls. The opioid crisis and an aging population are among the reasons. A daily six-person crew averages 12 to 15 runs a shift. So you, you really want to make sure that you, you get the rapid response to people's homes and treat them to the best of your ability uh, with the equipment that you have. And we're not meeting that obligation today. Instead, as they did 96 times last year, they call in mutual aid, often from small departments like Northampton, busy with their own increased number of calls. We staff at uh, three men per shift, um, a lieutenant, two firefighters, and that was uh, brought up in 2004. Have calls increased since 2004? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just this year, we've increased by 20 percent. The worry isn't just about budgets and manpower, it's in response time. National standards say that, you know, we shoot for a minimum of a four minute response time to emergencies and when we start talking about uh, crews being in other communities that certainly can, you know, affect the response time inside our own community. The Exeter Select Board recently shot down a request for an added firefighter and Seabrook's chief is asking to add firefighters and dispatchers at town meeting in March. As he puts it, quote, we're holding the line best we can, but it's a fight we're going to lose if something doesn't change. Live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.